Hello everyone, this is Vimala Devi. I'm currently working for a private engineering college which is affiliated to VTU. In this video, I'm going to solve Automata Theory Computability Model Question Paper Problems. This question paper has been recently released by VTU in its website. Already I have made enough videos which is explaining the concepts of ATC in my channel. You people can refer to the videos for the basic concepts. Now here in this video directly I am going to solve the problems and give you the solutions. And for theoretical questions I am going to give you the link of my previous videos. Okay, let's get into the question paper. This is the first question and the first question there are two choices. One is A, another one is B. It's not choice actually these both the questions are to be attended supposed to be attended. The first question is define the following terms with examples. Alphabet, power of an alphabet, string, concatenation and languages. The same question may be asked like explain the basic concepts of automata theory or describe the central concepts of automata theory. For that question also you need to answer alphabet, what is power of an alphabet, string, string concatenation and languages. Regarding this question, already I have made a video. I will provide you the link in my description. You people can refer to that for the answer. Now let us move on to the second question. The second question, there are two parts. The first part is definition of DFSM. And the second part is there are two subdivisions which is asking the design of DFSM. Again, I have in detail already explained about DFSM in my previous videos. I will provide you that link also in the description. You people can refer to that. Directly, I will give the solution for the first B question. So the first B question is asking the definition for DFSM. So a DFSM. DFSM means deterministic finite state machine. We can denote it by the letter M is defined as phi tuple information. M is equal to Q sigma delta Q naught F. These are the five tuples. You have to write what each tuple represents. Q is the set of states. Sigma is set of alphabet. Delta is the transition function. Q naught is the start state. F is the set of final states. Delta is the transition function which you have to write like from the given state on reading the input symbol the finite state machine may or may not enter into other state. So this is the definition for DFSM. Now let us try to solve 1B the first subdivision. What is the first subdivision? A language is given. The language is made up of zeros and ones. The strings are made up of zeros and ones. And every string contains 0, 0, 1 as a substring. So I'm going to solve now first question B subdivision in that again subdivision 1. So first let me provide the strings that belong to the language. So L is equal to the very first string what is present in the language is 0, 0, 1. You can guess the other possible string 0, 0, 0, 1. It means before the substring, there is a possibility of having zeros. So the next string may be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this string also contains a substring 0, 0, 1. Other possible strings are like 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1 is present. It is preceded and succeeded by zeros. This pattern is also possible as described by the language. The other possible pattern is 1001 or 100111. 
I mean at both the ends, the substring is present in the middle, it might be either preceded or succeeded by once, or it can be succeeded only by once. This is also possible. Anyhow, this string also contains a substring 0, 0, 001. Uh, other possible strings goes like this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Or else 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. In the sense the substring 0, 0, 1 is present, it might be preceded by the combinations of zeros and ones. So I just gave you a guess or imagination of the strings that belong to this language. So how do we construct the DFSM? You need to consider the very first string, which is this 0, 0, 1. So this is the basic substring present in every string. So what is the length of the string? It is 3. If the basic string length is n, the number of states required to design DFSM is n plus 1. So for this language, it requires four states. So first state is Q0. From Q0 to Q1, 0. From Q1 to Q2, another 0. From Q2 to this is Q3, 1. So now we have constructed the DFSM, which accepts the very first string 0, 0, 1. Based on the rest of the transitions, we have to design DFSM, which recognizes the entire language. Since it is DFSM, there is a possibility for DFSM from every state, a transition on both the symbols. Here, sigma is equal to 0, 1 for the given language. So from every state, there is at most one transition on every input symbol. That is a definition for DFSM. So from Q0 on 0, it is already defined as Q1. The left or possible transition may be Q0 on 1. We have to think whether it can be included. Q0 on 1 can be defined as a self loop so that now the machine is recognizing 1, 0, 0, 1 or 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, like this. So from Q0, 0, 1, both the transitions are defined. You cannot try to define more than once now. From Q1 on 0, from the state Q1 on 0, it goes to Q2. Q1 on 1, you cannot define like a self loop. So only possibility is back transition, which is to be connected to Q0. So I cannot define like a self loop for the reason it will break the continuity of the substring 0, 0, 1. Let us move on to the next state Q2. From Q2 on 1 goes to Q3. Q2 on 0 can be defined as a self loop. Even you define it as a self loop, the continuity of the substring is not breaking. From Q3 on 0 and 1 can be defined like a self loop, 0 and 1. So this is the solution for 1B1. Now let us check the next question. In 1B2, I'll just copy paste this question before providing the solution. The question goes like this. For the language uh, W, it contains a set of strings W. W is made up of the alphabet 0 and 1, where every string has even number of A's and even number of B's. So let me write down the question here. It is available as image. I cannot copy it here. So let me write the question here. So this is a given language where language contains strings and the strings are made up of zeros and ones where every string contains even number of A's and even number of B's. Even number of B's. Okay. How do we design DFSM for this? 
So assume that this is a start straight, let it be Q0. And we have one more straight, which is Q1. Between these two straights, let us design which accepts only even number of A's. A, A. So if Q0 becomes the final straight, it is recognizing even number of A's between Q0 and Q1. Now I add one more straight here, which is Q2. Between Q0 and Q2, let me define the transition like this for the symbol V. Now, if Q0 is made as a final straight, it accepts even number of A's and even number of B's, but it accepts even sequence of A's, even sequence of A's like this, followed by even sequence of B's, are even sequence of B's followed by even sequence of A's. What about the strings like this? A, B, B, A, A, A. Right? The string also contains even number of A's and even number of B's. So when you are designing DFSM, it should recognize these kind of strings also. So what is missing here? Or else I will give one more example. A, B, A, B, A, B. A, B. Here also there are four A's and four B's. But as of now, the machine, whatever we have or we have designed right now, will not recognize these kind of strings. It will recognize only these patterns. Either sequence of A's should be followed by sequence of B's or vice versa like this. So what to do? So we should allow the machine to read A followed by a B. So what do I do? I add one more straight here. Let it be Q3. So from Q1 to Q3 on the input symbol B, from Q3 to Q1 on another input symbol B. So between Q1 and Q3 alone, if you see, it is recognizing even number of Bs. Now from Q0 to Q3, if you observe, it is reading A, then followed by B, then how it will reach the rest of the states. So between these two states, connect it by the symbol A. That's it. Now make Q0 as the final state. Now just try to read the symbol starting from Q0 and try to reach the same Q0 now. From Q0, it reads A here for the first time. Then it reads B. Fine. Then from Q3, it is reading the A for the second time. Followed by, it is reading B and it reaches a Q0. So starting from Q0 to Q0, it has read A two times. If you loop any number of times, the number of A's, what is being read between Q0 to Q0 is going to be even. Right. What about the count of B's from Q0? It could read A and reaches Q1. But from Q1, it reads B, then it reads reaches Q3. So it is reading B one time here. From Q3 to Q2, again, it should read A. Then again, from Q2 to Q0, there is a possibility of reading B, which is the second time. So from Q0 to Q0, if you traverse this mission, it is reading even number of Bs, isn't it? So Q0 has to be the final state which is recognizing the pattern, even number of A's and even number of B's. Let me try to give a clear diagram now. Let me erase whatever I have written. So this is a solution for the second problem. I request you people to refer to the concepts of DFSM and already I have solved problems in my previous videos. You people can refer to that and uh, then you can refer to the solutions of this problem. I request all of you to share these videos with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.